With this upload I'm actually finishing my first week of daily vlogging and I have a little bit of a cake and I couldn't resist so I already started. But overall it's a big celebration for myself because it's just a interesting process to go through every day and I mentioned that in a couple of videos by now but it's really interesting and also uh, hard work to actually put out all of this content every single day and it's actually not just my seventh day of vlogging but it's also the seventh article so I just finished a week where I published an article an Instagram photo and a video every single day and that was a kind of a hard task to do but I think it paid off and I'm really happy about the results that I got just the amount of uh, work I was able to put out and also the responses I was able to get some public and some in private but I really like the feedback that I've been getting sometimes it was just critique that really helped me to kind of uh, change something or um, notice something that I can develop further and other times it's just the positive reinforcement that really helps me to stay on the track and continue. This is also a change in how I did things because a couple of months ago I already started putting out almost daily videos for a certain amount of time but it was just confined to one room and one background basically. I did a lot of uh, tutorial videos so if you're interested in mobile photo editing, uh, what kind of gear I use, how to set up a website with uh, Namecheap and WordPress, all kinds of those things, then you can definitely check out my other videos and I will link the playlist in the description below. But those videos were completely different. They were set in one setting and just have one background. And sometimes they kind of tend to be a little bit longer because also I just showed a lot of stuff and showed a lot of different aspects of the things that I was talking about and sometimes even walked through the whole process of doing something. So if you want to learn about mobile photo editing, website creation and all that kind of stuff, then please check out the videos below. And that's also one of the things that I really enjoyed about last week, the kind of comment engagement um, started to grow even more and now I'm experiencing almost daily comments on the YouTube channel I have a bunch of comments on uh, Instagram and that's just growing and growing and now today I also put uh, comments on the blog so there you can comment as well and you don't even need to log in or do anything like that it's just a normal comment area where I can post a comment as a guest or if you want to connect with your Twitter Facebook or whatever account and then you are linked to those things so it's really really easy and it's really something that I think um, can spark new conversations, new ideas, critique, feedback and all kinds of those things and also help each other in a way uh, to connect more, to create more. However, one of the struggles I noticed through all of these things, um, it sounds really positive and really energetic and I think it's something that is still driving me, but it's still strange and it still feels very strange to sit in front of a camera and let me just show you what I see when I'm looking at this whole thing. I'm basically just seeing a stack of books, my cake and of course the camera and I'm just talking into the camera lens and that still feels kind of weird and especially if it's in a public place it feels even more weird because then people are looking at you and that's definitely something that needs a lot of getting used to but I have heard or seen in many other vlogs that even people who have uh, more than a hundred thousand or even more than a million subscribers they also struggle with the same thing because it still feels weird to point a camera at yourself kind of thinking you're that important um, whereas I think it's uh, me documenting my journey sometimes even just for myself or knowing that there are a couple hundred people who might enjoy what I'm sharing. So that's kind of the uh, disconnect. It's not that those people who are vloggers or pointing a camera at themselves, they don't really think that they are super, super important. They just think that they have something to share and there will be someone who will enjoy all of the content they are creating. And that's the same thing for me. I really think that there is something valuable in in every message so I just have to create it in a way and then see what comes from that and who might enjoy it. But regarding that it's even harder to do the same thing here uh, because now I'm in my hometown where I have um, old friends, I have people who know me, who know my family and all those things and it's also a very small town so it's it's multiple layers of complexity that makes it harder for me to still keep continuing doing vlogs, especially in public places. But I will have to figure something out to still continue uploading um, content. And I'm not really sure if I want to continue the whole daily 
uh, routine because that is a lot of work and sometimes it's just not interesting enough. But I think maybe I can develop something where I share more ideas and also go back to the tutorial work when I have days that are not as interesting and yeah, just continue uploading even though it's sometimes hard. And in the end, it's just overcoming those fears and knowing that, as I mentioned, there is the other person on the other side who might enjoy or find the information valuable. So that's just a process to kind of internalize that information and also see it from a different perspective because there are oftentimes people who we think they judge us, but in reality, they just look at us for a split second. Maybe they have a thought about like what a weird thing to do, like pointing a camera at yourself, but just seconds after that, there's a new thought and they probably won't stick with you being the weirdo so most people are much more focused on themselves instead of you so that's something that i really try to internalize more and more that everybody who is walking around us just is um, kind of focused on themselves and already has so many things to think about that they are most likely not going to think about me for that long so that's kind of a takeaway to finish today's video I just want to invite you again to leave a comment down below. If you watched the video this far, just uh, comment below, say hi, share your social ca um, channels so I can check them out and maybe uh, leave some uh, response or feedback what I think about it. And you can do the same thing about my stuff. Just uh, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think about the stuff that I'm putting out there. Tell me what you might want to see even more of, or maybe you've seen something from me and you think, why isn't he doing more of that? Just let me know all of those things because I cannot really read your minds and yeah, that, that would be really helpful. Also, if you liked the channel, subscribe to it and also give the video a thumbs up. That uh, obviously helps me to understand better, to know what kind of videos uh, are liked and also the whole subscriber count number. As I mentioned uh, previously, it helps to kind of know that there is someone who wants to see the videos and there's someone who is interested in the things that I'm putting out there. And yeah, so now I'm going to enjoy my celebration cake for reaching this kind of week's finish line. I hope you have a finish line as well and I hope you can enjoy the day, make it your life and I will see you tomorrow. Bye bye.